Welcome to Pedal Boards of Doom Live. I'm Lee. I'm James. And today we are going to be uh, demoing some very, very, very sexy pedals. So, they're made in Italy. They're made by a company called AC Noises. They're fairly new to the market. And Andrea, who makes them, really top guy. Um, so, without further ado, let's have a look at the quick video we made of them. Okay, so that's a good point. They're all top mounted jacks. Um, each one has, you know, you can put them really close together on your pedal board, which is obviously a really, really nice little fact. Um, designed and hand built in Italy. Um, yeah, really, really, really nice pedals. Without further ado, here's what the Esplora. Es Esplora? Esplora. Esplora. Yeah, <laughs> Sounds like. So we've got. little bit really smooth it's got some it's got some balls behind it so Okay, so let's let's see what it. Oh, I'm gonna turn the level down a little bit. So, uh, on this, you've got two toggle switches. The one on the left uh, bypasses the tone knob. So, if you turn it off, in Andrea's own words, the pedal will sound as a monster. Yeah. I think that was the same we were on. I think that's where we had it. <laughs> <laughs> that's why the volume was down so low. Mm. Yeah, so um, bypasses that, just gives it, I suppose, less in the circuitry, doesn't it? Yeah. Less to go through. Yeah, so that was what it was. So we've got it on that setting now, haven't we? So it's on the bypasses the tone setting. That one is the bright switch. So um, this button here is the bright switch, and what we'll do is we'll toggle that on and off as I play. So.
You want to go? Yeah, go for it. So James is going to play for it now. Cool. I'll just uh, explain about the guitar that I'm playing here. This is a, a 1977 Stratocaster. Um, you can recognise them by the bullet uh, truss rod cover, I believe. Um, it's got standard um, single coils there, and this in the bridge, um, it's a Jeff Beck Jr., which I believe is Seymour Duncan. I found out something about the Jeff Beck Jr. today. Right. I was watching Philip McKnight on his, um, on his, one of his... It was one of his short videos where he does the sort of, um, you know, five things you didn't know about Seymour Duncan. Yeah. The JB doesn't stand for Jeff, Jeff Beck Jr. Uh, or Jeff Beck, as I thought, and you thought. Well, naturally. Yeah, it stands for Jazz Blues, but he well. said that um, you've got to check his channel out as well. He's really, really good. Um, but he said that Jeff Beck sent off his Les Paul to be fixed. And the the guy who fixed it uh, screwed him over and basically swapped out these really nice pickups for crappy ones. Right, okay. So he sent it over to uh, Seymour Duncan, and Seymour Duncan basically put in the uh, the jazz blues pedal uh, pedals, jazz blues uh, pickups, and he really liked them and got a number for like famous for using them. And everyone thought the JB stood for Jeff Beck. Well, it kind of makes sense, isn't it? Yeah, true story. <laughs> okay. Right, so. <laughs> Give a demonstration. Uh, should we try for the Ibanez, maybe? Yep. Yeah, okay. Right, this is going for the Ibanez TSA 15H using the Explorer. It does, it really does. Okay, um, what I'd say is let's run it through the transistor amp and then we'll chuck it with the bass and then we'll move on to the next pedal. So, right. um, so uh, you go through that. <coughs> so this is the Behringer, I believe. now yeah that um that behringer it, it didn't like that fuzz okay. <laughs> it didn't like that fuzz at all that relates to what we spoke about on the last episode wasn't it when i said sometimes people say certain amps uh seem to receive pedals better than others yeah know. for sure thing for sure let's <laughs> let's try it out through the bass amp and okay.
Well, I'm sure Lemmy would like a bit of that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I can see that working in a really, in certain contexts. Um, I'm not sure that cab was appreciating it though. <laughs> no, um, what we haven't covered is um, the designs on the pedals. Oh, they're beautiful. Mm, bit unusual. I mean, the actual the knobs on the pedals have just got numbered one, two, three. Uh, you have to go to the picture to sort of ascertain what they actually do, which is just a unique little function. I don't know if you can see on this one we've got a spaceman, and it, it tells you at like level. It's got a little one there, and you've got tone number two and fuzz number three there. So it's a unique little feature. Um, James, the cameraman, when he gave them to me a couple of days ago to test, um, he note, uh, remarks about the build quality on these uh, pedals, and I have to admit they do feel really well made. Um, the knobs very, feel very true and um, just decent, basically. Yeah, they, see the knobs on these that you know they've got the little. Um, I'll show you. A lot of knobs don't have the. The screws, you just take a knob and, you know, you try to pull it off. <laughs> that wasn't coming up anywhere. But these do. So, if you see. Oh, I see. Oh, right. yeah, little little screws screw. on there. Um, the the jacks, um, the, the output jacks, they're, they're not board mounted. So, they're if you've got a board, so we've got a board here, and that's where all your circuitry is and you attach the jacks to it because you're pulling your jack in and out of the of the pedal you can cause damage to the board and it can break away okay. and uh, eventually right. it can cause it to break down andre hasn't done that so um he's attached the jacks obviously by cables to the outside of the um, right. of the case you know little things like that go a long way to making your pedal last a hell of a lot longer so well 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 manufactured then. yeah these are the boxes so when you get it, it comes a lovely little dinky box like this recycled or recyclable I should say when you open it up it comes in a little bag it is so cool it really is the effort that bespoke builders are going to today to make it an experience when you get your pedal it's you new, know. new pedal day <laughs> it's NPD, yeah, no, for sure. They 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 really do go above and beyond to make it an experience when you get it. Have you seen the cases like Chase Bliss come in? Like they come in a wooden case. Um, recently, <laughs> yeah, I've, I've seen a few photos go up. Yeah, they just look quite uh, posh. I, I love these. I like, these, you know, these um really do. My wife likes to look at these pedals. <laughs> Okay, right, so in fact, let's go on to the one she likes the most because I love her dearly. Right, <clears throat> so yeah, let's just shift it over a little bit. Delicate operation here. <laughs> I didn't think that one through, did I? Oh. Yeah, How are we we're doing? There. We're on screen. That'll do. Right, okay, so the Vola. This is your favourite of the lot, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. So, um, this is uh, effectively a preamp pedal. Preamp booster, I think. Yeah. Sort of thing. Yeah. It's a sort of film. Turn that off. It's loud. And that one. <laughs> right, yeah, so um, it's down the lines of the tube screamery sort of things. It's a beautiful colour. It really is. It's a nice green. Yeah. It is. Uh, and the red really sets off against it. Yeah. How often do you get a pedal and you sit there talking about, oh, isn't it pretty? <laughs> you yeah. don't, do you? I mean, once again, as I said earlier, the, the knobs, they're numbered one, two, three, and to obviously ascertain what they do, if you look at the uh, picture that's on it, which it's is dragonfly. a dragonfly, you've got tone number one, or no, no volume, volume one. one, tone two, and gain number three. Yep. I like the way, right, that the LEDs are offset to the side as well yeah it's a bit different yeah it's just out of the way it's nice yeah a lot of thoughts been gone into it you can tell it's Italian a mile away can't you <laughs> it really is yeah nice nice. what's it sound like let's do it let's have a lead there's your lead mate go I think I'll go through the Marshall I think <laughs> Thank you. 
preamp booster, it's I'd say it's a low gain device. It doesn't really go mega distorted. So if you just bring that gain up. Oh yeah, you've got to get into about about two o'clock. I noticed the volume, all of these pedals, the volumes on them, certainly the dB, I don't know how many dBs it raises, but it's, it's quite noticeable. I know. As you can hear, I've gone onto the the bridge pickup, which is a humbucker, and you can hear naturally the gains coming much more. It comes out a lot further on the single calls. It's a lot, a lot more minimal. <laughs> Do you want to have a quick go? I do. Okay. Just turn that off so it's not so noisy. There you go. Thank you. I'm going to go through clean first. I assume this is going to distort a lot more. With you. Yeah, let, let's turn the gain down on that a bit. And... Um... Yeah, do you know what? That that's sitting somewhere in between a tube screamer and a clone. Right. Okay. Yeah, it's a very very transparent overdrive. When when yeah. you switch it on and the gain's low down, there's like no difference. No, so it really is a booster. Like if you keep that gain down and mm. up, yeah, if you whack that up, you know, it'll raise the volume. I'll tell you what though, right? Down here, I've got a clon style pedal. Right? Is that soul food? The clon style pedal is famously a little bit harsh. This, yeah, it's not, you know, and, and if I don't like a pedal, you know, I will say, um, that is nice. I would seriously, seriously considering swapping that for that because that is nice. It, it does go to more towards the tube screamer sort of thing. In fact, we've got a tube screamer in over there. Let's uh, go. more towards the tube screamer hmm. but it's much more transparent than the tube screamer is because the tube screamer as soon as you put it on you know that's your tone but <laughs> 
Yeah, can you see can you see what I mean about yeah. like it's, it's got the it's got the um it's yeah. Now I hear that it's much much closer to a tube screamer. Much much closer. But it's really got that lovely sort of uh, I'm not, transparent. I'm not, I'm not sure it. if it goes as high no, in the game game stages. Oh, I'll tell you what, we can test it. Let's put that whack up, whack that right up. There is, there is a subtle nuance, definitely. Oh, that's humming a bit. <laughs> Right, so yeah, um, it is it is towards the tube screamer end of things. It is um, very, very, very transparent, but ultimately transparent, mm. isn't it? Yeah, um, when I played it, I, I could well use that on a gig. I mean, I play in a blues band, and sometimes I don't want to add more distortion, something like that that could raise my volume to you know come above. The bass and drums might be sort of quite cool on some things, especially with blues, you know. That would stack. That would yeah. stack really nicely because it's so transparent. All you're going to be doing is adding, like, like everyone uses tube screamers, yeah, but without the um, without the massive tone differential that you get with tube okay. screamers. So, yeah. Right. Shall we move on to the final pedal in the three? Le Combati. Le Combati, okay. Which is a distortion, I believe. Yes, it's my favourite. <laughs> yep. You might want to tune down that E string. <laughs> right, okie dokie. Right, so I'm going to go through the Marshall on clean and because it's distortion, I'm going to use the Jeff Beck Jr., which is in the bridge to sort of. Jazz Blues. <laughs> right, let's get this in right. <laughs> okay. Um... Okay, so there is uh, another toggle switch, and this one does quite a lot. So you've got three settings on here. Okay, the bottom set. Well, hang on, we'll come to the bottom set setting, right? The middle setting is the amp. Uh, sorry, the amp. The pedal completely open, so all the dynamics, everything is fully in there. Um, it, that's when you get it sounding, you know, what with what you really, really, all your mids, everything. That's all in there. This one is with a scooped mid, so it's slightly more compressed, slightly more scooped, more, um, let's say, metally sounding, you know, like if you want to get a bit more scoop mids, and we'll show you that in a second. And this one down here is a hybrid of the two, which is interesting, which is actually what we were on. So we'll start with the middle one, with the full dynamics. I'll come back on the volume. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
I'll just turn that um, going up. Yeah, I'll tell you what, you tell the guys about how you felt about that, because what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly uh, tune the guitar up. Okay. Um, once again, this one's got a cool little design on the front. Um, same thing as before, it's got one, two, three above the knobs. You have to go to the picture to ascertain what they do. Um, it's got number one is volume, number two is the tone, and number three is distortion. We've already explained what the uh, toggle switch does. How did you find it? Um, I like it. I think it's all right. Um, yeah, again, I think the uh, the volume does it raises quite a few decibels when you uh, when I demonstrated it earlier yeah. at my house. When you scoop those mids, you re you know you lose a bit of volume, which you know is just to yeah. be expected. Yeah. Um, but yeah, um, you can get some some really really different tones in there. And I reckon that I reckon that'll do metal. So I'm going to find out. <coughs> Let's see. <coughs> I'm going to go through to Marshall. I have. The reason is I've tuned this down really, really, really low for just this occasion. And these, when you tune things down low, they do not like to hold. You say the pedals are good for um, possibly metal. What they like to use in the light gigs? Well, we'll soon find out. Okay, let's have a look. That scoop mid sound really does drop a load of volume, doesn't it? Yes. Really does, but that's, that's to be expected. When you're dropping a, any sort of um, any sort of EQ, Take you're going to yeah, you're taking Scooping volume mids. out. <laughs> yeah, it can do it. Mm, I think definitely. I think I had too much uh too much gain running on that. Um I liked I don't really go for personally a mid scoop sound. Uh, yeah. For I me, understand I prefer the middle set, uh yeah. setting of the selector um with the full dynamics. Yeah. I'll try that with the Marshall. <clears throat> and then what we'll do is we'll open up to any questions you guys have got and then <laughs> that'll be it <laughs> right okay
and I'm going to fall over while I do it. Mm. And. Them all. Um, I really do. They all do something different, don't they? Yeah, most definitely. Yeah. What's your favourite? Personally, because I, I think I said earlier, because I play in a blues band, I like the preamp boost because I said it, it notably the, the volume. It, it, it creates. Yeah, you know, I don't know how many decibels it goes up, but it's it's good. I think I could really use that quite quite a lot. Yeah, as I said, a, a lot of time I've got three channels on my amp and I tend to go on the third channel and end up with so much gain that it sort of doesn't mm. sound very bluesy. <laughs> I, personally, I can't make, make my mind up out of them. It's, it's going to be out of the fuzz or the distortion. I like the flexibility that this distortion gives you. It's quite easy to use. Oh, forgive me. <laughs> it's it's um, quite quite easy to use. Um, the pictures on it's quite quite gnarly as well, you know, the hand with knives for it. Hmm. <laughs> it's not quite my the wife's favourite. <laughs> um, what else? Uh, the fuzz fuzz does a lot, doesn't it? A lot of different options on there. You know, you've got the two different toggle switches. Um, when yeah. I when yeah. I had to go at home earlier. Um, I was sitting right next to the cabinet and I, I turned up the fuzz to quite high and just had one note and it, but I had feedback, you know, when you rest your headstock against the thing, the feedback came in straight away and I, very Hendrix-esque, <laughs> to say the least. Yeah. yeah. Do you know what I needed when I was trying to try out through the Ibanez, uh, the Ibanez guitar as opposed to the amp? I should have put a compressor on. Would have brought the, tight, the sound tighter. Um, yeah. Okay, uh, do we have any questions at all? Yeah, James Atkinson said, where's a good place to start for a beginner? Good place to start for a beginner with these. Um, hi, James. I told you I know loads of Jameses. <laughs> this is James. This is James. That is James. <laughs> right. Um, what would you say? Good place to start for a beginner with these. With these pedals, I'd put everything on 12 o'clock and see how, see how it sounded, I think. Yeah. And go from there. And if I think you may have meant, which one would you start with if you were a beginner? Oh, okay. Um, hmm. I'd probably get the the distortion, to be honest. Yeah, it's the one that covers well, up most it, mistakes. It, it makes you probably get the most fun out of that if you, if you was a beginner, definitely. Yeah. The the um the, the preamp pre boost is just it's a subtle effect. It's more like a volume sort of with a little tiny yeah. bit of gain sort of thing. You're not you're not going to get away with uh, masking up your mistakes with no. that. No, but uh, tell you what though, for the most fun, it's going to be possibly the fuzz. I love playing with fuzz. I really enjoy playing with fuzz. But it, it's personal preference, James. It really is. Uh, yeah, I, I, I like I say, I love playing with fuzz, especially with octave fuzz. Right. Okay. Okay. Uh, other questions. <laughs> Once you play uh, White Christmas Over behind your head, can you do it? 
<laughs> Hold on. That's the one you meant, isn't it? <laughs> oh, you meant that other one? No, no. Like Mr. Not Johnson. Today. Yeah. Not today. Yeah. I do the Vera Lynn one quite well, though. When but Eric's I'm... over next, I'll ask him. <laughs> yeah, can we do a private one first? Um, okay. All right, guys. Right. Thanks for joining us. And um, yeah, if you, anything you want to see, come and ask us. And please remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Okay. All right. See you soon.